Welcome everybody, this is Jason Seacrest. We are going to do a little fun, uh, little bit easier tutorial today. And we're just going to do a, a nice simple little uh, ninja character here. And if this is your first time with the channel, we're going to give you all the resources and we're going to do it a little bit slower, just so you guys can follow along. Usually I recommend to my in-class students just kind of shrink up the screen and then follow directly along while you have uh, Illustrator open. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is go File, New. I'm going to go 5 by 5 oh, Let's switch that up. Let's go 5 by 7 And I want a horizontal format. I'm doing RGB. Everything else can pretty much stay the same. Number of artboards 1. You can hit OK. Now I'm just going to hide my, my artboards. And that's just because I like it for the video. That's the only reason I do that. All right, so we're going to go to File Place. I did give you the anchor point template. So if you got to go to Resources and download that, please do. Ninja Template Place. That looks good. Let's just come up into our transparency. Let's drop that down a tiny bit. Let's go 50. And I'm also going to make that a template layer and that'll knock it down a little bit more so that'll lock it out and it should be pretty easy to kind of go through now there's a lot of little points on it right now we are going to be walking you through this together and uh, it should be pretty easy so on this one we're just going to go inking let's return okay now this one we are going to tear off because we've got quite a bit of uh, circle shapes so let's do our ellipse the ellipse tool shortcut is L and we're going to do the best we can to just kind of go right through this process and we're probably going to have to modify the stroke a tiny bit or the fill I don't want to fill alright there's one oh, let's just fatten it up for right now hold down alt option and all I'm going to do is pull that over. So now I'm looking for kind of for the back of the head. Let's go right there with it. That's just it. so if I want some sort of lip or edge, uh, or actually a face, just so you guys are aware. Right now I have this is kind of a see-through character. So if you want this to be more of a head shape, that's what that's for. All right, let's go pen tool. Shift C is our convert. I'm just going to pull that down. A is our white arrow or the direct selection tool. Now this character, everything is going to get filled. It's very silhouette. So most of these strokes we're going to fill in at a certain point. So it's uh a pretty easy character and there's a lot of wiggle room on it all right hold down alt option there's the body let's go pen tool most of this is going to get covered up so it doesn't really matter but we're just going to click on each one of the points first and then I'll zoom in so you guys can see it there's one I'm going to go around the hand there's his thumb. And then I'll just close that up. Okay, so let's zoom in. Shift C. Shift C is the convert. It's just hanging out under your pen tool. I'm just going to pull that one out first. Shift C is still on, by the way. Now, why we do it this way is I think it's easier just getting the, uh, the lines down than trying to worry about uh, holding option, shift, and things like that. So that's just a little trick I like to at least give, or at least an option I like to give to my, my students. I'm going to pull that up. Notice I'm still on shift C, by the way. Let's go white arrow. Shift C. I'm just going to do a little rounded one right here. And if, if, if it's ever the wrong direction, notice that my mouse is still 
holding down. Let's go right there with it. These are going to be pretty straight, and for the most part, these are actually going to get uh, covered up, and we might actually do the Pathfinder to get rid of it. So let's just kind of come up here. Let's just curve out that arm. The one in the face, this line is going to get deleted, but just in case. There we go. All right, let's do our star. And I don't think I do anything fancy with my star. Now, if you guys want to be, just so you can see the star tool, if I am holding down control, I can control the points. So notice that I can control the peaks. So just depending. So if you wanted it to be more of a subtle star, you could totally do it that way. Looks good. I'm back on the black arrow. Shortcut for black arrow is V, by the way. All right, come on over. Let's do pen tool. Let's do the same thing again. We're just gonna click on all the points. And if it's not perfect, no, no worries. Click here, I'm gonna hold shift. And that's just gonna make it nice and straight. I go drag down that one. You don't need to drag on that, we'll, we'll come back to it. And let's go right over there. All right, shift C. That's our convert. So now we're going to get all of our curves back in. Now depending on how sharp you want the knee to be, you can modify that. Let's come in. I'm going to do smart guides just so you guys can see it. White arrow. Just drop that down. Now some of you might not want this bump. Totally up to you. Creative license, right? Alright, so I want this to pull out. Shift C. And I want that one to just point in the direction I want. Okay, good. Let's go P. I'm just going to click right along. Now if my smart guides are on, I'm going to click right here, hold down shift. So now everything's, this is going to be all in the same plane. Some of you could totally argue that that would not be the case. Shift C. Okay, so now I'm going to start putting them back in my curves. Just gonna pull this one out, get the handles. I want that to be a little bit more subtle. There we go. Let's go to the toe. Okay, good. Let's keep it going. You can go L if you're going to work on your shortcuts. We're just working on a tiny little circle here. All right, let's do our tail here. Click, click, click. All right, good. Shift C. There's one, shift C. I'm just gonna get a curve out of this one. Good, shift C. Come back and do this one. Point in the direction you want. Good. Same thing. I probably already did that one, but I just forgot. 
All right, A, I'm going to go Shift-C again, and I'm just pulling that one, point in the direction you want. Okay. Looking good, P. Shift C. Just pull that out. Nice curve. Nice curve. You can probably leave that corner one alone. Come back. Let's point in the direction we want. Let's just move that point up. Shift C, we'll do the bottom. Now, if you're ever pulling this, just just hang on. Keep in mind, I can just let go. I'm only really just looking for the anchors, and then I can always come back and modify. So you don't have to get it perfect the first time. All right, I'm going to pull this one again, point in the direction you want. And then I'll straighten out a little bit. All right, let's do the last arm here. There's a lot of points over here, so just kind of follow along. There's our wrists. Finger, finger. There's our thumb. And then there's the arm. Shift C. And let's do this one. I'm just going to get this part over here correct, and we'll come back and do this other one. Just point in the direction I want. I let go. There you go. Match up that line. All right. I want to shift C, and I'm going to get that wrist in there. So there's the wrist curve. White arrow. Click A. There you go. Shift C, since I've got this handle, there's a little bit of a sharper edge. Here's the middle finger. Let's just do that finger good. I still have Shift C, by the way. I can come back, and now I'm getting the around the handle. Let's do that direction. White arrow, by the way. Good. Shift C. Let's just come back. We're going to shrink that down. Point in the direction that you want. Just line it, line it up with the handle right there. Okay. Let's do the face. I believe the face. Oh, let's just do pen tool for it. I think that's pretty, pretty easy right there. Point, point, point. Again, this is all going to get cut out. Shift-C. Let's just grab that one, pull. Right Now, if I wanted it to be perfect, I'm holding down Shift, and then I'll kind of smooth it out a little bit. Good. All right. Eyeballs. Those are just with the ellipse. Super easy. Ah, eh, Control-Z, Control-Z. Let's go right there. I'm going to go black arrow, V. Hold down Alt. Didn't work. There we go. And then I'll just scale this one up. I'm holding down Shift, by the way. Okay, good. Let's just do Pen Tool. Click P again. We're just kind of doing the little notches. Now, if you guys have more specific highlights that you want to add in, feel free. We're going to switch all these, and they're going to be fills, so we're not going to be too concerned with the uh, the strokes for right now. All right, let's do the belt. Point, 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 and we're going to come around. Shift-C. Let's do the bottom belt. Notice that I just grabbed that handle. Now I can drag. 
this is all going to get filled in and over here. Shift C, just pull it down. I'm just going to pull that out. Good. White arrow A. Shift C. I'm just kind of giving a little bit of a bump. I'm looking for this corner right here, and I'll pull this handle back a tiny bit. Okay. We've got the star. We've got the head. Let's just bring this over a little bit. And then we can also... Eh, let's go Shift-C on this one. Just a little bit more of a... little bloop. Alright. Man, you guys, we are crushing this, by the way. We are... Almost done. Hard stuff is done. Good. Same thing. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go Control C, Control F, and all I'm going to do is take one corner and just pull it over. So now I've got kind of the thickness of the handle. Well, let's test out our pill. Oh, sometimes life is just super easy. Uh, I'm just going to click so you can see my radius. My radius right now is 0.69. So that's what this part is looking at. So as long as you had the same format or the same uh, size, all you're going to do is click, change your corner radius, and then you can pull out the pillow shape. You guys are going to say, do more with just shapes. That stuff is easy. All right, we're just going to do that. I'm kind of just looking to make sure that this is doesn't have to be perfect, but just so if, if the more it's lined up, the less you have to do Pathfinder. That's really, really the only little trick. Good, good. All right, pen tool. Now we're doing our sword. We're going to just kind of come right on back. And the closer they can line up with the pill shape, the more it's going to read as a sword. And I might move some of this down from the original. I'm going to just do Shift-C on the, the bottom, too. Top of the sword. Shift-C. I'm just going to pull it out, and then we can always come back. And just line that up. Got the white arrow, by the way. I'm just kind of just connecting them. All that is going to do is just so if these are off, this could kind of break. So that's why I don't want, I don't want to just kind of test this out. And I might just move this down a tiny bit. So I'm looking to have it somewhat centered on the handle. And that's really the only major change I just did there. Okay. Holy cow, guys. That was it. File save. Hard stuff is done. Ninja. Demo. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that was the hard stuff. Now we get to basically just start filling. We're basically going to really, since everything is a silhouette, we're just going to, right now it's on a stroke, and the reason why we do that is so we can just still see the points on our template, and that was really the only reason... We did that. I'm just going to do this little guy right down here since I missed it. Okay. So let's just do black arrow. Now I'm going to test this out and let's just, let's see. What we should be able to do is just kind of click. We're just going to flip this over. I know. I know. You guys are already saying it. Flip that over. And what we're looking for is just to see how the fill plays out. All these are going to be black. So let's just flip those over. Let's just flip this over. Uh -uh -uh. I'm looking for the back of the head. I like that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go cut. And... Let's go cut right there on this one. Yeah. 
And now we can flip it. So I'm just looking basically the back of the head. That was really the major part there. Now this will possibly modify a bit when we do our Pathfinder, but for right now, I'm gonna come up, let's do just a light gray. Let's flip this. Let's just do a white for now. And we're gonna start doing Pathfinder on a lot of this. We are gonna flip this over. That's gonna be white. Let's grab both of the triangles. Those are both going to be white highlights. And we just do black eyeballs. We're going to flip the handle. This could be a dark right. Now keep in mind you guys can do whatever color palette you want. Let's do... I'm just thinking of, I say dark. And the other one's going to be lighter. So I'm just hanging out in these grays. So this will be the dark one. And we'll flip them. It's going to go a little lighter. Alright, so let's just do order here. Send it back. Send it back. We're going to have to go send it back, and more than likely we're going to have to bring forward. Send it back. Okay. So if you're, it's, if it's easier to grab this one, just send that one to the back. Alright, let's do this. Flip it over. Let's look for a... Eh, let's go a little bit whiter with it. I think I want this one to be darker. Uh, let's just try and match the handle. There we go. Okay, grab the sword. Arrange. Send it back. I'm going to grab this. Let's just switch that over. Let's go white with it. Let's grab both of those, arrange, send them back. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So all I'm looking to do here, if we can simplify our lives right now, that's what I'm looking to do. So I don't know if you saw, there was a little tiny gap. And that was the only thing I was looking to kind of fill in. All right. Easy peasy, right? Hmm. Let's do this. I'm going to grab Black Arrow. Now, when we do our Pathfinder, we'll clean up some of this a little bit later, but all I want to do, just see what the easiest version of this would be. C. Let's delete this part. Delete. More than likely, if I do a straight line, it's going to go through this part. So, all I'm going to do. I'm going to click, I'm going to click, and I'm going to click. That's it. Okay? That's just so when we do Pathfinder, there's not a weird thing going through. But we're going to basically do all of our stuff right now. Okay, so let's grab our black. Let's grab this area. Let's grab this area. Let's pull the Pathfinder tool out. I want all those to be connected. Shift. Let's do that one as well. Good. Holding down shift, Pathfinder. So all my blacks are now connected. Look how easy that was. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically cut out the white areas. And I think I'm gonna probably chop out that part of the finger too, but for the sake of argument, I think we're, we're crushing this. So this is what I'm gonna do. I selected the white. And let's just do this so you can see what's happening. So if I go pink, I'm going to select it, rev the head, minus front. Select the belt, select the body, minus front. So that'll just cut it out. Okay, and the only reason I did 
the white is so you can see what's happening. Same thing. Grab the triangle. Black minus front. Holding down shift minus front. All right, let's do the hand. And uh, the hard parts are really done then. I promise. Mm, 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 mm. All right. So all I'm looking at right now is I think I'm going to do this. I would think this is probably the easiest version. I'm going to add a point right here. Because I actually want this finger to go behind. And I'm going to come through. And let's just delete these two. Shift C. I think that's going to be a little bit easier than trying to work on everything else. Okay, good. I'm actually going to go Shift C over here. And what I'm looking for is just a thumb, a little thumb nodule right there. That's it. Pointing in the direction, pointing in the direction. This is bothering me, so let's just clean that up. All right, you can always modify. You can always modify. Let's bring that in. Oh, too easy, guys. This one was too easy. You guys are ready for difficult stuff. Okay, so everything is basically good to go on the ninja. So this is what we're going to do. And now that I'm staring at the shadow, I'm upset that we already cut it out. But that's, that's all right. We can figure it out. We are smart people. So this is going to be ninja. So on our layers, this is the ninja layer. So let's do a new one. This is going to be shadow layer. Double click. Let's just go shadow. And let's just do another one. Let's just say background. Uh, man, my computer is not happy. Background check. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's do background first. Let's just hide this out just so you can see how ridiculously easy this is going to be. All we're going to do is we are going to... Notice my smart guides are on, by the way. Somewhere in the middle here, we're just going to make triangles. And I'm going to go shift over here. Now I am going to switch those, and while we have it, we might as well just kind of grab a red. If you don't want it to be a super bright red, but any of the defaults be, be fine. If you want to kind of tone it down, that would work out quite well. Pen tool again. Smart guides, right? Hold down shift. Somewhere in the middle here. Come on back. Hold down shift. I just want a little bit of overlap again. Hold down shift. Some, there is a duplicated, uh, I'm sure there's a duplicate and a radial pattern, but just so I don't have to start digging for it, and that's why we're doing this. Hold down shift, and back in the middle. Okay. Now, if, if you wanted all these to read, then I could have them all kind of pointing towards the middle. Middle, 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 middle. Let's just drop that one down. I'm looking for gaps. Let's just bring that up. So I'm just doing white arrow right now. I'm just bringing those 
over, over. Let's do this one too. Good. Okay, so let's hide that one for now. That one's ready to go. So what we're going to be doing with the shadow is I'm going to take the ninja. We are going to duplicate out the ninja. Now, to be completely honest with you, before we started doing Pathfinder, what I would want to do is basically have created the ninja, ninja shape. So since this is solid, what we're going to have to back, come back and do is basically fill in our little cutouts. So I think that is a pretty easy little task right now. Okay, so I'm going to select everything right now. Everything's going to go black. We're going to come over to Pathfinder. We're going to unite everything. There we go. Now I'm just going to do this. Minus. And I'm just hacking those over. Shift C. And I'm just going to point in the direction I want. So I'm just filling those in. And we're going to fill in all the eyeballs as well. Let's do the belts. So all I'm looking for is a solid silhouette. That's it. And I think for this one, we are just going to do a nice little circle. Hold down shift, by the way. V. I'm looking for this corner right here. Looking for that one as well. And then I'm going to do circle, circle. Just for the sake of argument. This is going to be for the shadow. So it's not that big of a deal. And it's also for the offset path. So you might see these little lines coming on the outside. So that's the offset path. All right, we have a silhouette. Look how easy that was. Layers. Let's select everything. Let's come back up to Pathfinder. We're going to unite everything. So now it's just a big solid shape. That was it. All right, let's go to layers. We can do our ninja now. I'm still on the ninja copy, which is actually our shadow, but that's okay. So this is selected, by the way. Let's just lock out Ninja so you can see what's happening. I'm going to take my guy, and all I'm doing is pulling down. Are you freaking out yet? Was that that easy? Look at how easy that was. Okay. Okay, good. Let's click on our gradient now. Let's go linear. White is going to be pretty transparent, so let's go 10%. That'll be closer to the head. We can do black. I'm okay if it's it. Let's go 90. And then we will just kind of go in that direction. Up, let's go in the other direction. Dun, dun, dun. Good. Good. And you know what? I keep forgetting to make copies of things. Shame. Shame. Man, you guys are going to yell at me for this one. I can already tell. All right. Shadow's done. Here we go. You're going to totally yell at me. Totally yell at me. Duplicate ninja. So this is on the bottom. Here's our ninja copy. Let's just lock this guy out. Take it again. Let's just pull it back up. I know, we should have just made a duplicate. Shame, shame, I know. Uh, we're going to select everything. Now this one we're going to do white. So you're not going to be able to see it right now. All that we're going to do is come up to object. We are going to go to path. We are going to go to offset path. Let's go preview just so we see we can what we're looking at. Let's try 0.10. Doesn't bother me at all. All right. So there is our the white. So let's just get rid of this now, so you guys can see what's up. I'm just looking, kind of see how everything is playing out. So this is the ninja copy. I'm gonna drop this down, right above the background here. That looks good. I'm just zooming in right over here. 
I've got white arrow. I'm doing A right now, by the way. Let's just pull that down. And we're going to actually cut this out. So this isn't going to be another cut out. All right, let's just zoom out. Oh, too easy, guys. Too much fun, too easy. So this is all one big shape. So what I want to do is this is still grouped. But either way, I still want to unite it. So let's just do that. More than likely, nothing's going to happen. But just so there's not a double, double layer. There we go. Now we can unite it. Good. Next, let's do our red. Holding down shift, black arrow. Good object. I want a compound path. Okay, so we make... All right, so here we go. We have ninja copy. Let's just do this so you can see what's happening. We have basically a white outline shape, and then we have our background. Let's just click on that. And if we did this right, I should just be able to go minus front, and then we're cutting out basically all the stuff that was happening in the middle. So we're looking at that. So again, I selected all of the red. Let's just go back so you guys can see what just, just happened. I selected all the red. I came up to object, compound path, and I made. Now, if you're ever doing Pathfinder and you have multiple shapes that are kind of hanging out separately, that's when I, that's when you're going to do the uh, the compound path. Black, select them both. Now keep in mind, my white layer is above, so then I can go minus front. And it'll do that nice little cutout. All right, so let's just kind of see what we're looking at. Ninja, ninja. Let's get rid of you. Now at this point, guess what we get to do? This is a total save check at this point. I am just looking at this. Select your red. For some odd reason, I have a white stroke. I do not want a white stroke. Okay, file save. Done and done. Okay, so just in case you wanted to do the... Um, rice paper. Let's just show you how to do the white rice paper. So for background, I'm going to go file place. I did give you this file. I'm going to pull that down. Alright. Let's just come on over. Come on over. Let's just drop this. For sake of argument, good to go. All right, so if I was going to do these guys, I don't want this. Let's pull that up. Let's get rid of shadow. Now, since we built it in kind of layers, I just want to kind of see, show you what it looks like. If I come into transparency, if I drop it into normal and do multiply, some blending modes in Illustrator, you can still do them. They're just hanging out under transparency. If I go to multiply, if we do ninja copy... do our red select everything and multiply okay well, that worked out quite well so that would be the version in Illustrator so if I wanted to I would save this as well so you can also just go save for web now this is still in Illustrator same thing file save Paper 2. Good to go. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. This one was a little bit easier. We have been doing some complicated ones lately, so hopefully this will help out all of the beginners out there. But if you guys are liking what you're seeing, uh, definitely make sure you're subscribing. If you do have any comments, make sure you are uh, putting those in the comments section. I do read those, and I try and get back to you, especially if you have any uh, questions or if you're hung up on anything. Uh, but this is kind of a, a nice little, uh, easy little ninja tutorial for you so hope you guys enjoyed that and i'll see you on the next tutorial